Hey guys, so interestingly enough, one of the things I get the most questions about is what kind of footwear do I wear um, when I'm out in the woods? I really like all leather hunting style or work style boots. So about all I wear anymore are, um, are danners. I have three different pairs of danners that I wear for kind of different things. And again, I'll show you guys a little, a little more closely each of those three boots. And then recently, I also got a pair of Zamberlin mountaineering boots from Frontier Dock. So I've been wearing those out a little bit. <clears throat> but all of those boots are, are basically all leather with some kind of ballistic nylon panels in them. As far as cold weather boots go, I wear my leather boots in snow, even in even in a foot or 18 inches of snow or more. And sometimes I wear gaiters if I'm dealing with a lot of snow and I don't want my pants to get wet. But I'm a big believer in sizing my boots so that socks become a big part of my insulation. So what I mean by that is like these danners that I'm wearing today, they're they're sized for me such that I can wear one, two, or even three pairs of socks in them. But for me, it's really important that my boots be sized such that I can open up the laces to fit more socks under, but also be able to tighten them down over thinner pairs of socks. And that's one of the reasons that I really like the Danner boots. They have the lacing in them that extends closer to the toe, and that allows greater flexibility in, in how tight that I lace them and how much room they allow for socks. Traditional boots, the lacing stops farther up here. Danners give you about one more inch worth of lacing or so. In some cases, maybe even a little bit more. And that allows for, and that allows for greater adjustment. So I can wear more socks thicker for warmth, or I can wear less socks and still be able to tighten the boot down and have a good fit on my foot. So here are the four pair of boots that I wear almost exclusively out in the woods. On my right, I have the Dana Raptors. These are my winter weather boots. They're sized about a half a size larger than I need, so I have room to layer up socks for insulation. And they do have 400 grams of Thinsulate insulation in them as well. These are the Dana Recons. These are an all leather boot, extremely durable. These are my go-to boots for ex really harsh environments. If I'm gonna be hiking in lava flows, if I'm gonna be in sustained mud and wet, I'll tend to turn to these boots. These are the Danner Desert Acadias. These are my summer weather boots, but I actually end up wearing them in, in spring, fall too. They are rough out leather with ballistic nylon. They are Gore-Tex lined, so they do repel some water, but um, what I like about them is they're nice and lightweight. These are a pair of Zamberlins that I got from Frontier Dock. And so far, I really like them, but they are a really heavy-duty, all-leather mountaineering boot. They're extremely comfortable. They are cut for crampons, so they are designed for mountaineering. Um, and they're sized right for me so I can layer up socks. So that's it. These are the boots that I wear out there. One other thing I might mention is that I do treat all of my boots with Obanoffs. One other thing that I would mention is when it comes to my inch... EDLS bug out philosophy. These Dana Recons are the pair of boots that ride in my vehicle loadout bag. That loadout bag, if you've seen the video, goes in my vehicle with my inch pack and it has a change of clothes in it because I go to work every day and I don't wear clothes to work that are, that are suitable enough for field use. So, so I have a change of clothes in a bag that, that complements my inch pack in there. These are the boots that ride in that. So, hope that helps. Feel free to hit me with any questions or anything. Again, this is just what works for me. I don't think that it's the best. It's just what works for me. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, back up out. That's what you're going to stab in the IV bag. What you want to do is moisten that. So, stick it in your mouth and lick it. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, are you sure? That doesn't seem sterile. It'll we'll actually pull the wound together, force the tissue down, put some Curlex on top of it, and you can get a really nasty head lap. So you can calculate so drip rate and right. know that the IV is currently flowing. And, that's and if it separates, you need to put more staples or more sutures. Hmm. Does that make it just a way? Yeah.